so this is the poco x5 5g with the code name is moonstone and in this video i'll show you how to flash the custom rom okay this rom is very good very nice very stable and fast i have tried it and i think this is the one of the best custom rom that i ever use okay so you should try it okay so this rom also very clean and for this moment i cannot find any bug for this rom <coughs> and i will show you how to flash custom recovery and also flash custom rom for this one okay make sure to follow all the steps so we'll, you will not get any problem okay all the file and step i'll provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section if i have any time i will try to answer it okay so stay tuned and check it out okay hello guys assalamualaikum again with on mob and now in my hand i have uh xiaomi phone this is the poco x5 5g with the code name is moonstone and let's check the exciting system about pun and you can see right here we're using the global version okay hyper s 1.0.6.0 umpmix okay <clears throat> and you can enable the developer option by hit the os version five times go back go to the additional settings developer options <clears throat> and here you can go to the me unlock status and you can see right here our device is already unlocked okay so to unlock the device you must wait seven days because there is no bypass for this one at this moment and this is a snapdragon version okay so in this video i will show you how to custom rom in this phone okay and if you have any trouble you can always try to flash the same firmware like i do okay i will put the download link in my blog you can check the link in the description box <coughs> okay and now we already unlock the device and you already see the exciting system Okay, make sure to remove all emails and we're going to boot it into the Facebook mode okay let's power it off and let's switch the screen and now we are already in the desktop and this is the step and this is all the file okay you can check the link in the description box and first thing to do let's press the custom recovery okay reboot to bootloader you can use the combination key or use the adb command Okay, now we are in the fast boot mode. Let's check the slot. Okay, just to make sure. Fast boot, get far, space all. And slot count too. Okay. <clears throat> and next, let's press the boot image or the custom recovery custom recovery we're going to put in the into the boot partition let's put place space flash space boot and let's use the therapy and then let's type fast boot three with uh, <coughs> uh let's wait because the size is about 128 megabyte okay best boot reboot and you can see it's sending into the boot a partition <coughs> okay and now you can see now we are in the custom recovery okay okay now let's start testing the custom rom we're going to use the adb command okay so go to the advanced right here Hit the adb side load and swipe it and from the command line you can type adb space side load space and just click and drag the custom rom okay we're going to use the metric evolution this is for your base it means that it doesn't include gaps you, you must install gaps separately but of course feel free to use the gap version 
uh, it is just the same okay I will skip this part okay now we already finished facing the custom run the next step let's make the custom recovery uh, permanently okay so we're going to install the therapy installer let's swipe it go back ADB side load again and <clears throat> let's type again ADB side load this time just click and drag the therapy installer okay it will make the custom recovery permanently okay if you don't do the skip uh, you will lose the custom recovery okay <clears throat> now hit the home button select reboot and recovery okay, after we boot again into the custom recovery we need to install the gaps of course if you want to use google apps okay <clears throat> uh, in this video uh, we're going to use the bit gaps arm um, 64 of course android 14 adb side load and click and rack the bit gaps <clears throat> and tap adb side load okay now we can see there is a progress and why I'm using the bit gaps because it is the smallest gaps and it is core base it means <clears throat> it doesn't include the bloodware from Google and other stuff okay let's wait it just takes several minutes Okay, now it's already done. Let's go back and uh, let's try to reboot the system. Hey, okay, let's wait. <coughs> if it shown the boot logo from the matrix, okay. Now we can see the boot logo is changing from the hyper OS into the matrix, and there's uh. We should good to go okay with until it finished and boot it into the home screen and here we go now we are on the welcome screen all you need to do just hit start select your language and next next until it goes to the home screen so now we already in the home screen and let's make a quick review about this rom okay let's go to the settings and let's close this one you can see it is very responsive very nice let's go to the about one poco x5 5g and <clears throat> Android version 114 you can see right here the security patch is July 1 to uh, sorry Android security update is May 5 2024 okay it's quite new and you can see also this is very responsive very fast okay and you can also customize lots of things in the metric settings you can customize the button lock screen navigation status bar and other stuff yeah. and if you go to the miscellaneous <coughs> there is some interesting option such as high developer status game space and unlock higher fps okay this is uh, quite good for uh, gaming very nice and we also have unlimited photo storage so you can backup <clears throat> lots of photo and video in google photo without uh getting limited okay very nice and thing to do let's check the email <clears throat> okay email is safe there is no problem with email i also have wi-fi and also the sim card is working okay you can see right here and <clears throat> okay what else yeah I also already the take a picture and video we can see in the gallery right here okay quite nice quite decent okay the sound when recording video is quite good hey okay, there is no problem with the photo and camera and this room is also quite clean you can test using the rule right here check 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 uh, okay this is clean setting prop because we because I'm enabling the USB debugging okay you can also check using the root beer <clears throat> there's no problem with the root beer 
all clean not rooted and safety net also pass okay okay sorry this is a uh, network you can run this again succeed to see okay so the rom is quite clean we also have fiber okay for you guys that love to uh using the fiber sound fiber fx you can use include it in the rom and for the camera it is also quite good because we are using the <coughs> default camera from the xiaomi so all the features that are in the stock rom you can get it from here okay the like uh, feature and other stuff okay uh what else gps also working you can see the location is in my home quite good and the offline charging us is also working already tested mm, what else i think that's all and okay that's all if you have any question feel free to ask on the comment section okay uh <clears throat> Uh, all the file and step i'll provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box guys okay so see you in the next video take care and wassalamualaikum